In this short video, I'd like to talk about how you go about placing tiles um, on a window or a screen of some kind using nested loops. Very quickly, what are we talking about when we say a tile? A tile is, as you imagine, something which has a design of some kind. So let's just draw an imaginary series of tiles. What we're not interested in um, in this video is the particular design, how the tile looks itself. What we're going to work on is the idea that there's a design for a tile, let's just say there's a design um, of some kind. The crucial thing that we're interested in, in order for us to place this tile on a screen, we need to have this location. So what does that location actually mean? It means the distance coming across, that's your X, and how low it's going from the top, okay? So just to capture that idea very quickly, we have a wall and we're going to put tiles on that wall and I want to put a particular tile in this position here. In order for me to position these tiles and place them using software rather than physically build a, a tile, I need that distance and I need that distance. Now, for sake of this video, I'm going to call them Y0 and X0. Um, and I'm going to ask you to look at your code of how you actually go about tiling it because you need to use these two pieces of information to make sure you position it correctly. Let's assume from this point onwards that um, you have already written code so you've already defined, you've already written code to create your tile in whichever design it is. Now if your tile, let's just have a quick look. If when you're defining your tile, um, you don't pass it anything and then you build your tile, inside with some kind of internal logic, what you need to add to your tile code is are these two values. And the idea is, is that all of your internal positioning of objects within your tile and how they're all related and so on must include these two values. We'll come to that in another video. In this video, we're just going to assume that you've got a piece of code called tile and you can pass it these two values which correspond to this location of the tile and that's how far across it is and how far down. Once we have that, let's have a look at a very simple mechanism of tiling a wall or a screen. So imagine I have a screen here split in two, something like that. Each of these little blocks are 100 by 100, okay, even though I've dr drawn it slight uh, inappropriately. My tile, my particular tile with its design, is also 100 by 100. So what I really want to try to do is position this tile into one of these um, slots. But what I really want to do is I want to tile it. First for that one, one tile there, then move to this place, tile over here, then to move to this place. I'm going to just, give me a second, just increase that to 4x4. Four four. I'll tell you why in a moment. Um, and so I want to fill this up in this kind of way. Start here, fill these places up, go down a row, fill these places up, go down a row, fill these rows, places, and so on. How do we do that? The first thing to really be aware of is that this direction on the screen is the X direction. This direction is the Y. As Y gets bigger, you go downwards. As X goes bigger, you go that way. So, what I really want to be able to do is have a simple mechanism that I can draw a tile here using that information, jump the right distance 
and then draw the second tile here, then jump that same distance and draw the third tile here. I'm using different colours, then jump that same distance and then draw that tile here. Once I've completed a particular row, I next, once I get to the end of this row, I want to just use a different colour. I want to then jump down a row down to here and then I want to draw my next tile here. I then jump across that same distance and repeat this movement going this way. When I reach the end over here, I then want to jump down again that same distance. Okay, so if you look at the way that I'm talking about this, I'm tiling it, so I go one, two, three, four, then I shift this one, I add one to here, then I go one, two, three, four, then I shift this one, one, two, three, four. How do you code that? Very, very simply, if I create an X value and I use the range in Python, I set the initial value to say zero. Um, the, the width of my wall, which is not going to be, which I need to decide, let's say that it's 400. And I want to go in steps of 100. So what that will do is it will start at zero. So that value x will start at zero. Then every time it loops round here, it will jump by 100. So the next loop will jump across by 100, so it will draw a tile. So this location becomes this initial value plus 100. But you don't have to worry about that if you use this type of logic. If you let this value jump in a hundreds using this step let's just um this is the step this last value and by setting it to a hundred this logic of jumping a hundred every time is managed by the actual loop here so x will go zero one hundred two hundred three hundred so it will do all the work of moving across then what i need to do is pass this x value into my tile and let it draw that tile at that x value. In the meantime, what's happening to my y? So to complete this, what we really need to do is we create a y loop and let's say it's 4 down. So we're going to go from 0 to 400 going down, that's a 4, in steps of 100. But within that, I'm going to also loop my x value from 0 to 400 and in 100 steps, 100 um, pixel steps. So here, let's use a different color. Um, what I'm now going to try to do is if I place my code to draw my tile, so I call my function and I pass it these two values, x and y, which will correspond, if you remember what how I started, to my um, top. So there's my tile. It will correspond to this corner here, the top left-hand corner, these two values here. So what that means is that by nesting this loop, this X inside and this Y wrapping around it in this kind of way, I can redraw as long as this code draws from there and draws my shape and what's inside it, using these two values lifted from here, it will, it will tile it on a 400 by 400 screen, um, 4 by 4.